In this podcast episode, Ben Shapiro delves into the current political landscape as the 2024 election approaches, focusing on the contrasting fortunes of Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. The episode highlights Trump's recent rally at Madison Square Garden, where he drew a massive crowd, and contrasts it with the struggles faced by Harris and her campaign. Shapiro opens the discussion by emphasizing the overwhelming turnout at Trump's rally, which he describes as a significant event in the lead-up to the election. With 20,000 attendees and thousands more outside, the rally showcased Trump's enduring popularity among his base. Shapiro notes that the atmosphere was electric, with notable appearances from figures like Hulk Hogan and Elon Musk, who energized the crowd with their support for Trump. During the rally, Trump delivered a classic performance, mixing humor with serious political commentary. He took aim at Harris, mocking her campaign and highlighting her perceived weaknesses. Shapiro points out that Trump's ability to connect with his audience is a key factor in his appeal, contrasting it with Harris's struggles to resonate with voters. As the conversation shifts to Kamala Harris, Shapiro highlights her campaign's evident panic in response to Trump's momentum. He notes that Harris's internal polling appears to be dismal, leading her to rely on emotional appeals rather than substantive policy discussions. Shapiro critiques her reliance on identity politics and the perception that her campaign lacks a coherent message. He points out that her attempts to connect with voters often come off as inauthentic, particularly when she shifts her tone or accent depending on her audience. Shapiro also discusses the backlash Harris faced during a recent rally where Beyonce made a brief appearance, leaving the crowd disappointed. This incident underscores the challenges Harris faces in energizing her base and the growing frustration among her supporters. Shapiro argues that Harris's campaign is floundering, as evidenced by her inability to secure endorsements from major publications like the Washington Post, which has historically supported Democratic candidates. The podcast further explores the broader implications of the current political climate, particularly the left's preemptive panic as they sense impending defeat. Shapiro notes that prominent figures on the left, including celebrities like Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro, are rallying support for Harris, but their efforts seem increasingly desperate. He highlights the Washington Post's decision to withhold endorsements as a sign of the party's internal strife and the fear that they may not be able to rally the necessary support for Harris. Shapiro critiques the left's narrative that Trump is a fascist or a Nazi, arguing that such claims are not only hyperbolic, but also reflect a lack of substantive arguments against his policies. He points out that the Democratic Party's focus on identity politics and divisive rhetoric has alienated many voters, particularly in swing states where elections are won or lost. Shapiro discusses the role of media in shaping public perception of the candidates. He notes that while the New York Times continues to publish critical pieces about Trump, the Washington Post's decision to refrain from endorsing Harris reflects a growing concern among media outlets about their credibility and relevance. He argues that the media's attempts to influence the election through endorsements are increasingly ineffective, as voters are more attuned to the candidate's actual policies and character. The podcast also touches on the absurdity of Harris's focus on gender bias in intelligence reports, which Shapiro describes as a trivial concern compared to the pressing issues facing the country. He argues that this focus on identity politics detracts from the serious discussions that need to take place regarding governance and policy. As the episode concludes, Shapiro reiterates the importance of the upcoming election and the need for voters to remain engaged. He emphasizes that the race is tight, with polling indicating that every vote will matter. The contrasting fortunes of Trump and Harris serve as a microcosm of the larger political battle, with Trump capitalizing on his popularity and Harris struggling to connect with voters.